So hi, good evening, uh, everyone. I am uh, I'm glad to welcome you uh, this evening, morning, uh, different places that you placed in. Uh, I'm so happy to uh, have all of us join in together. Uh, it's it's quite a uh, overwhelming moment uh, uh, for all of us, and uh, absolutely uh, even for like for me when. Uh, as we celebrate the third uh, third anniversary anniversary of Brooks, uh, to to begin with, uh, I have some thoughts that I'd like to share. Um, this journey has been uh, quite overwhelming, interesting, scary. Uh, pretty much every emotion uh, that we can count out there uh, for. For all of us, uh, especially for us who uh, took this journey, uh, started with it. Uh, I remember um, my last day at the fellowship, um, and uh, I decided that yes, I'm uh, not going to continue uh, doing something else, but actually start something on my own. I think the idea was brewing in my head for almost a few months. Uh, I remember almost. I, I think I did a lot of research around for around six months in terms of what should I do next. Uh, coming from uh, a startup background and then uh, getting into uh, an employment was not very easy uh, for me, and uh, I've been meaning to get back in into the pond again. And uh, I think this one moment uh, I remember. Uh, when we were traveling uh, during one of our visits uh, to a, a, a village uh, near Pune and um, uh, Radha ma'am was traveling with us. I got a chance to hop into her bus uh, and she offered me a seat next to her. And I think that uh, it, it was uh, it was curated uh, for us to get into that moment and have that discussion uh, because we, we discussed so many things and uh, this one quote uh, while I was telling her that what should we be doing. So back then, Prasenjit, me and uh, Kaushik, one of our uh, fellow um, fellow fellows of the uh, Swach Bharat Fellowship, uh, were thinking of starting a sanitation enterprise. And um, I was discussing the idea with her. And she told me, Abhijit, if you uh, start a company, the world will probably get one entrepreneur. Uh, but if you start uh, doing something uh, in the consulting side of things, probably the world will have hundreds more like you. And I think that was a defining moment uh, for uh, for building Brooks actually. And uh, immediately my next thoughts were like, let me get back to my mentors who stood by me all these years. And that's when I approached Rama sir, Kamlesh sir, uh, Vijay Pansika sir, and uh, uh, Jaya Rupa, Pratibha, and all of them, uh, like, I think there was, ne they, there was never an op, like, I think uh, they never felt to say no. I think they rather sprung up with more ideas uh, on how could we build this. And I think that was something that, uh, that really motivated me uh, to, to have, the backing of such individuals uh, into building something. I, it definitely proved in a certain way that yes, um, that what I was thinking, trying to build uh, was worth, uh, if it was worth these people's times, it would definitely be worth uh, in the long run. And uh, I could not imagine uh, a much better team than uh, some of my closest friends uh, who like within a year, uh, some of them that we'd met, so Suraj, Charudat, um, we met during the fellowship, uh, uh, Prashant, who I knew since college, and uh, all of us, we just came together with this core idea. And I think everyone was on sync on what we were building. Um, and it, it, it was it was quite amazing. And I think from that moment, uh, and obviously we, we committed a lot of mistakes along the way, uh, there was a lot of course correction that happened, and uh, I'm glad to have uh, again uh, 
people like Rama sir, Kamle sir, Jaya Rupa, who've been, uh, who've been there to kick my ideas, if I may use that term, that, hey, Abhijit, uh, you need to focus on what's happening and not just sway away uh, with, with whatever comes, whatever whims come to your mind. I think that was the biggest um, uh, value addition, I believe, that I could get uh, from, from this team. And obviously, uh, execution hands that made it possible. And uh, along the way, we started building a team. We had, uh, I think, one of our early folks, Sonam Komal, joined us um, around December. Uh, and they've been with us ever since. Um, and it's an amazing validation. And over those years, we've, uh, we've had over, I think, 60, 70 people come and go out. And some stayed with us. Uh, in this journey, uh, it's it's been a best time, and I think uh, definitely uh, this has been my longest. Uh, or uh, I've been I've been lucky enough in certain ways to have uh, a venture run for three years uh, full time uh, with whatever interruptions I had in between. But uh, I think we've survived this. I think. Uh, in the startup world, as we say that we, uh, we we've complete we've crossed the valley of death. We've completed. We've survived the first thousand days, and uh, it has been uh, nothing less than an adventure. Uh, with that, uh, I thank all of you who are part of this today and have helped us grow. Uh, moving forward, I would um, like to share a quick story as I uh, told you. So we. Uh, 6th June was when we took our first step uh, into building Brooks full-time. Uh, we legally registered as a non-profit Section 8 company uh, on November 12th, 2018. Uh, since then, we've done over 15 projects, uh, small and big, with over 100 partners, uh, and uh, we've achieved almost a 10x growth uh, from our uh, initial days. And we have a team spanning over 20 cities. And I'm glad to say that we, uh, at, at a certain point in time, we were operating out of three countries, uh, which I never had imagined we would be able to. And uh, this has, uh, I think, and then we will definitely grow more. Uh, very recently also we did our first international collaboration with Hatch Sri Lanka and I think uh, this year we will uh, officially start uh, keeping foot in uh, more countries in South Asia and I think that's that's been the goal uh, since the beginning. Uh, the next steps I would uh, walk you through uh, different uh, initiatives that we've done in brief and I would like the team to step up and share uh, their achievements with us. Um, starting with the operations, uh, Prasenjit uh, has been a rock in terms of building the operations team and sustaining it and actually freeing my mind uh, so that I could focus on uh, uh, other things. And uh, I would like to call him up and help us walk through uh, what we've been doing so far. Uh, hi. Uh, it's been a very, uh, it's been a roller coaster, to, to be honest. Uh, we've had our highs and lows. We've interacted with a lot of stakeholders, government, uh, private, public. We've tried to leverage our network. We've tried to build much more cohesion in the ecosystem. And I think uh, that's something which is ingrained in all of us, every single uh, Brooks team member that we always look at the larger picture and that keeps us motivated and uh, our hopes and our motivation level very high. So, yes, I think Sonam wanted to take this. Uh... Yes. Am I audible? Yes. Okay. So first of all, many congratulations for the third year anniversary of Brooks to all of us. Uh, so. PMU by Yojana uh, is a flagship scheme of Ministry of Skill of Development and Entrepreneurship. Uh, it started uh, in December 2019 and uh, has been extended till March 2022. So the, this program is active in 10 states 
in India and Brooks implement Brooks is the implementation partner for the Maharashtra state. The objective is to create an, uh, an enabling ecosystem for the entrepreneurship development through the entrepreneurship education and training and providing easy access to entrepreneurship network uh, to the students and beneficiaries. Next slide, please. The scheme, this scheme has four objectives. First is entrepreneurship awareness and mobilization. Uh, next is entrepreneurship education. Third is mentoring handholding and fourth is events and awards. So we have covered uh, till now the first three objectives. Entrepreneurship awareness program is to create awareness about entrepreneurship as a career for the students. During EAP, we have reached 34 institutes and we have impacted or oriented 4787 uh, students. The second objective was is entrepreneurship education training. Uh, in this, we have provided entrepreneurship education within the skilling, skilling ecosystem. We have trained the institute's faculties and they have provided training to their students. After lockdown, we have provided online EDB training to all the institutes. We have trained around 1469 students uh, on both online and offline platforms. Third objective is providing handholding and mentoring support to potential and existing entrepreneurs through entrepreneurship hubs. We have conducted four awareness camps and six counseling camps till date. We have mentored 242 entrepreneurs uh, from rural areas. Till May 2021, we have 100 plus new business ideas. We have 90 plus business uh, registered on Udyog Aadhaar. Many businesses are still active in this pandemic. We are helping our beneficiaries in, reg in registration of their businesses on online platforms as well through WhatsApp business accounts, Facebook business pages, Insta pages, and digital showroom account. Many of them, some of them are using Khata book for digital accounting of their businesses. Objective four is to create opportunities and platforms through events and awards and recognition. We have received an extension for this program uh, and we intend to help all the beneficiaries in scaling their businesses. So that's all about PMUA. Prasenjit, you can add if I miss something. Sure. So I think uh, Sonam has summed it up from a business standpoint and from a government uh, stakeholder standpoint. What we're also doing is uh, going one step further in this uh, pandemic infested times. We are reaching out to our beneficiaries understanding what pain points are they facing on a personal and a professional level. Uh, we are trying to understand uh, what we can do once the pandemic uh, situation gets closed and we are able to actually meet meet them uh, physically. And that's what we're doing uh, apart from the uh, government mandated program. Thanks. Sure. Next step to the Misfits Initiative, and uh, I would like to call the star uh, of the show, Anupam, uh, to share a little bit about Misfits. Sure, thank you so much. Uh, hi, beautiful people. Hope you all are doing well. And yes, we are so grateful that we got this chance to uh, make a difference, uh, the chance to make, make an impact, a uh, social impact specifically. And we are so grateful for Misfits Initiative and all that it has done till now. Uh, as uh, like, let me just give you a quick recap of all these things. So it all started with a pitch event uh, and giving you quickly the quick recap of Misfits 2020. So we started off in around July uh, with the aim to find the most impactful change makers from South Asia. So Misfits was an online pitch event that happened across 20 regions of South Asia and um, it was focused towards providing a stage to social impact change makers, be it startups, nonprofits or innovators, uh, you know, who are building solutions uh, that can improve the quality of life in their particular regions. Um, and then uh, during Misfits 2020 event, the, that pitch event, uh, around 13 experts joined us and shared their insights on social uh, entrepreneurship and social impact. Uh, we call that uh, impact talks. Uh, and then we had exceptional jury members and with their help, we got our top 30 Misfits and our top three Misfits. 
so this is you know quick gist about the impact created during misfits 2020 now uh, uh, referring through the slides uh, we covered 20 regions we got connected with 90 plus partners that's a huge thing for us we got our top 30 we got 200 plus applicants uh, and then social media reach as you can see on the screen as well so this was 80 percent organic and uh, around 20 percent uh, it was uh, you know the paid marketing thing so uh, we are so grateful that we were able to create such kind of impact uh, so yes, it, as I said, it all started with a pitch event and now Misfits is a community because of the impact it created. Because, uh, you know, the moment you inject information, education and an entrepreneurial spark in a community, it gets empowered enough to uh, inspire, build and uplift itself. So so did we with misfits so uh, and yes now we have been le doing learning workshops uh, please change the slides yeah so now uh, in like in the misfits community we have been doing learning workshops panel discussions talk shows and networking events yeah since the last week of january 2021 uh, we are glad that we have successfully completed eight global events and three regional events and many more to come so uh, we have done this in uh, different regions with different partners uh, we also run a live 30 minute talk show by the name of hey misfits on instagram we have covered 15 episodes till now uh, kudos to us and now uh, we will be moving this live talk show on clubhouse uh, most probably in some time so the and also the impact report of misfits 2020 uh, is ready is also ready to rock on and to share the amazing insights and impact to everyone out there that we have created uh, and yes big news is that we are coming up with misfits 2.0 very soon uh, sometime in july or august uh, we have started the marketing so like we'll let you know soon about it uh, and like with the ending i would say let's celebrate the misfits the crazy ones the troublemakers the doers the round pegs in the square holes the ones who see things differently and yes they are not fond of rules so yeah that's it from my side thank you so much guys thank you anupam you always bring energy to the room <laughs> um talking about the next step so technology is something um, that we uh, started experimenting with. Uh, I think that this has always been a weak spot for us, but uh, we have persisted uh, and we have overcome in that. Um, a couple of things that we tried doing, uh, I think the first step was actually trying to build a mentoring platform. Uh, this was sometime around 2019 and 2020, uh, which didn't go as expected. And uh, we spent about six months and uh, the help of five interns and British to start this, but uh, uh, sadly it didn't move the needle. But we are very glad to share that uh, we finally came up with a tech product called Ekatra, uh, which was in response to the pandemic situation to whatever the PMUR team has been facing in terms of reaching to students who did not have access to smartphones or the internet. And uh, it has so far, at least at an operational level, worked spectacularly well and uh, we are uh, we've recently uh, restarted our development efforts on that front and uh, we'll have the beta access up uh, in the next week's time uh, we have shantanu uh, to lead the development efforts and he's supported by three more team members uh, the next step about uh, marketing us as a brand I think uh, the brand of Rooks uh, has become synonymous to entrepreneurship and has grown, uh, especially in the last year, a lot. Uh, while these numbers are still uh, fairly low uh, than what we expect, but we've seen a very high engagement with uh, on pretty much all our channels. Uh, the report shares the last 30 days activity on our social media channels and which has been quite good and we have an amazing team which is manning it and ensuring that uh, we grow uh, in the digital world as well. Beyond that, we did a few activities uh, previously to ensure that people hear and know about us. 
one of which has been uh, a partnership with Autodesk Fusion 360 India, uh, wherein we hosted a massive event called the Future of Manufacturing and Product Design in Nagpur in July 2019. Uh, also, uh, the team was involved in managing uh, the launch of Fusion 360 Academy uh, in India uh, in February 2020, and uh, we've had uh, an amazing partnership built with the Fusion 360 team and continue to do so, uh, especially for our skills initiative, which is still finding its roots, and uh, we are sure that we'll have uh, someone help us in terms of growing that now. Uh, this next was the uh, Nagpur Incubator Forum, which was started as a part of the uh, GIZ's MSME uh, program, and uh, uh, wherein we had, um, wherein we got together all the incubation centers uh, in Nagpur together and held a bunch of meetings for uh, for them to uh, upskill and. Uh, get actively collaborated with each other. Uh, the next and the most long-standing uh, engagement we've had uh, with, was with the Smart India Hackathon. Um, and uh, over the years, it has been a na nationwide initiative and our team has been uh, contributing in multiple ways, uh, not by evaluating the hundreds of applications that uh, this hackathon receives and uh, uh, along with that, we participated as mentors. Uh, I represented uh, SIH as a nodal officer at NIP Trichy and last year as a vigilance officer for their online hackathon. Uh, beyond this, we've done a bunch of outreach initiatives. These have been guest talks, so junior positions at multiple colleges uh, and competitions. As a talent, I believe we are a growing family uh, and uh, we have been constantly looking out for some amazing folks to join us uh, at the team. We, uh, we've had about 60 people join us and leave and put some of them stayed with us. Uh, we have a, a family of actively uh, 40 people that are in and out uh, of our different initiatives and the current team uh, is uh, is growing and uh, we, we look forward to have more people join us in the next uh, few months and years to come. Uh, in terms of uh, finances, uh, I believe uh, Suraj uh, is missing, but uh, I'll let Komal take this over. Uh, thank you, Abhijit. Uh, congratulate Brooks for completing three years of successful journey. Uh, Suraj is the finance director in Brooks. He couldn't join us and he is out of network and missing this anniversary meeting. Uh, we started our journey in 2018 from scratch. We have been growing successively from the past five, uh, three, uh, three financial years. And it is a great success for any organization to have sustainable financial growth for a, uh, for continuity of business. Growth figures are shown as a year. Uh, we did multiple small scale projects and we had a kickstart growth in financial year 1920. As we were in a growing stage, we did multiple new mandatory expenses that brought us to losses. But we did not stop and came up with a new initiative that's Misfits. The PMU and Misfits played a major role in the financial uh, growth during the pandemic situation in financial year uh, 2021. And now we aim to have two times growth in the current financial year through our upcoming initiatives. That's all from my side. Uh, over to you, Abhijit. Uh, thank you very much, Kopal. And uh, I'd like to also share that. Uh, as a non-profit, I think uh, these are phenomenal numbers for all of us. Uh, we started with, uh, with a little capital that uh, some of us infused in it and uh, just for us to stay afloat, uh, but we focused on creating revenue first uh, rather than uh, going around and scrounging for finances or grants or donations. Uh, I think we we stayed firm in our beliefs that 
we had to first prove what we can achieve and then go out and ask people to uh, pull out checks from their pockets and uh, i think the last 3 years have been nothing but uh, phenomenal and magical in terms of ensuring all our efforts uh, even in the financial terms have proven to uh, give us returns and we have sustainably uh, grown in 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 the in the last 3 years and these numbers are not small for an organization like us uh, and and definitely i think we we are here to grow this beyond uh, beyond every uh, financial trouble or uh, any pandemic that possibly will hit us and i think our biggest growth actually happened during the pandemic which is uh which is nothing but a a blessing in disguise uh, for us and i think this has been a wonderful wonderful uh, last 3 years uh, and the i think the numbers here speak like everything that we've been doing so far i think the numbers speak best in terms of growth uh talking about the next steps that we aim to achieve as an organization we put together uh, a sales plan uh, one of the key things that we try to do uh, we trying to do is uh, start a program called step 1 which is going to be an entrepreneurship course for students aspiring entrepreneurs and uh, early career professionals uh, this is aimed to reach uh, the tier 2 3 and 4 uh, entrepreneurs and uh, we aim to reach about 10000 learners in the current financial year we also experimented with finance, uh, with consulting services and um, have suraj and komal leading that with us uh, with a few set of interns that recently joined us and uh, we ensure we'll ensure that we reach the target of 2000 businesses uh, by this year end uh, about the funding process we uh, we are waiting the approval of the 12a and 18g uh, post which we can start officially our csr uh, fundraising process and we targeting to raise about 50 lakhs for different initiatives that we have uh, uh, mentioned previously the misfits 2021 um, will also uh, be driving some sorts of revenue for us through sponsorships and memberships to drive community building uh, we are aiming for Uh, a 15 lakh amount in the sponsorships and about 500 members in this financial year the step one course uh, i would like uh, sona moran to talk a little bit more about this the sanjeev will take it over um all right so thanks for the nomination so step one program is aimed for aspiring entrepreneurs we intend to have this as the basic course in a series of courses planned for the, over the next 6 uh, to 7 months the intent the intention is to cover the basic tenets of or uh, principles to help one understand the uh, requirements to structure out and build a business uh, we will be using uh, ekatra as a tool to disseminate all the information and content to all to all the learners the content will Uh, will consist of videos audios question and answers live live interactions with experts from the community to dispel uh, any any uh, queries that they may have at the end of the 10 day course they will be uh, given a certificate of appreciation and, and a certificate uh, about the program we also intend to provide uh, mentorship and guidance services to some of the leading uh, businesses which which come out from this program which means that we want to extend our hand and handhold these uh, new age entrepreneurs and to help them uh, make their business successful thanks thank you prasenjit uh and before i close uh, i would really like to thank all of you for joining us in today and uh, this has been nothing less uh, than a joy ride uh, all of us had amazing times uh, we definitely do have some 
uh, announcements as we shared. So uh, we, uh, I, I will, I will let, uh, I will share my screen again and uh, show you briefly uh, our upcoming website. Sadly, we were hoping to uh, share this, uh, start doing like uh, launch it today itself, but we hit some operational snag and uh, which is why at least a part of it is definitely ready, but we want to ensure that all of it is completely out there before we take it forward. And uh, there you go. This is uh, going to be the refreshed website of Rooksh and uh, some of our team members have been spending days and nights uh, to start uh, to build this. And uh, I'm glad to have all of you see the first look of this and uh, we'll have a lot more to be added uh, in, in the upcoming few days and uh, open it up for the world to reach us. We've, uh, we've been having a, a very good uh, open rate on our website and a lot of people come and visit us uh, uh, and seek information about the organization. And I think uh, the current website wasn't doing a lot of justice to that. And uh, we definitely have a new flavor building around. So that's about it. I would like to thank all of you uh, for joining us and uh, would open the floor for uh, certain experience sharing. Uh, and uh, I would like to put uh, our guest Amitabh here on the spot and uh, welcome us, like, share his experiences with us. Thanks, uh, thanks, Abhijit. Uh... So I think I think uh, it's been amazing and <laughs> wonderful journey uh, since I've interacted with you in last two and a half years. I think two and a half years is when we feel known to Abhijit, right? Okay. Yeah. So so I believe that uh, two and a half years. Whenever I speak to you, hey, what's happening? So there's something new cropped up, and he said, "I mean, you know, yeah, I've just come up with this idea. Whenever I visit Nagpur, then then." Over cafes, over chats, he said, "I mean, how can we do this? How can we?" So always thinking. New things. Last year they launched Misfits, and suddenly, like, what is happening? Then, then I realized, okay, this is a phenomenal platform in a short span they're putting together, and then every day there's a breeze, there's a breeze of uh, 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 say say post on on social media. Say, oh, this is moving so fast. This is moving so well in this thing. And when I was part of those panels later on, okay, okay, this is something phenomenal. He has spread Pan India, build those partnership, build those. Uh, uh, entire uh, networks is needed to lead this kind of initiatives actually so you really need some zeal uh, some some passion to drive this in this even this time of covid actually so i think uh, it's phenomenal and i i truly believe in what you do with you then as the name goes braksh in hindi in indian language it's called the ped or the tree so uh, you know there are many trees in india but i think he, i truly uh, Believe in that such called banyan tree, which is which grows and which has that uh, sub root which comes down, which is very stable, which, which which has a life of many many years actually. It's a very one of the very um, uh, in Indian mythology, it's, it's one, of, one of the very sacred trees we have in India. So I I truly uh, wish that that vriksh grows in that uh, that manner, and uh, I wish all the best to Abhijit, Abhinanupam, and the entire team. Prasenjit and all uh, to take it take it to the next level actually. So, congratulations once again from my side uh, to you guys and wish you all the best for the future. Thank you, Tarek. Thank you very much Amita, for those words. Uh, I think Misfits even for us was uh, uh, was a surprise. I think uh, for all of us, never like if you had asked me. Uh, and two months back that uh, we were trying to create something like this, which I would have said, hell no, uh, it's too much effort. But I think uh, Rahul took up that charge of, of building this initiative. And it has been, uh, I think we, we did a 
all the heavy lifting that was required uh, and actually took it uh, to to the goal post um, i think he he is the star behind uh, making or starting misfits as it is and uh, definitely it got us introduced to anupam who has been uh, leading it on the front now uh, with with all her uh, witty comments and uh, social media posts and amazing events that she manages uh, but yeah it's i i think uh, we definitely uncovered a major um, gap in the social impact ecosystem through misfits and uh, i believe uh, that as as a as an organization we have taken up uh, on ourselves to fill up that uh, fill up that gap and uh, definitely with partners like you out there uh, spotting us uh, we we are sure that we'll take it uh, to a much much larger uh, tree as you say and i think that's been the reason behind why we named the organization as vruksh uh, that yes we want to grow that like that banyan tree which shoots out roots uh, in all directions and uh, it actually reminded me of this conversation we were having on clubhouse the other day uh, and a lot of folks who joined in and I, as i was giving introductions i thought that okay uh, like 80% of people in that room were associated with us at some point in time who are either leading organizations somewhere else have started startups or doing some wonderful work uh, for the ecosystem out there so i think we've already uh, started like as as a giving out those fruits and building sharing our seeds out there uh, for the world uh, to benefit from it so uh, thank you very much again um, we also have madhura uh, who's joined the vruksh family very recently as a partner and has helped us in the pmu ayojana uh, madhura i would like to put you on the spot here and uh, have you share some thoughts with us hi thank you amit first of all i would like to congratulate the entire vruksh team on the completion of three years i'm sure it will have been a phenomenal journey starting from the scratch till date so it's a great achievement to all of you when i got an ever vruksh in the month of jan and i would like to place on it all over here the introduction to vruksh was given to me by not a major consultant while I, i wasn't knowing what what exactly was the vruksh all about how we are going to go forward i still remember the day in the month of jan i received an email at 1 o'clock at night in that we have to organize a pm by pm and i was like a bit surprised what is it all about i wasn't really aware of which in the members who are part of it and i said sure let's go ahead let's take it forward and as i was going through the profile of the rooks i am at all this all the youngsters in so as a you why not uh, they were i know for who are here they were need for all whatever help was needed from our side that's how we got an elbit the rooks in my first dialogue was with abhijit and then it uh, got forward with rasenji sudarsh and i i am of rooks that's how the journey began and you would be surprised it doesn't seem to me like we have been knowing each other just for the past 5 months it feels like we all have been together somewhere in the journey or the other maybe like we have worked together prior or maybe we, we were like together in college or so and that's how we have reunited again in the year 2021 so that gave me a very kind of a feeling to connect with groups so i'm really grateful to dr mega fanser uh, the founder of ether and the entire team of groups for the english to be part of the entire journey and as well as to be a part of your three year celebration uh em by no no we uh, maybe did a training recently that was the two trainings under the banner of pradhan mantri yuva yojana it was a great learning experience for all of us as a part of the organization what is that new it covers what sort of uh, knowledge we could provide to our beneficiaries 
if one has to undergo any kind of uh, business ventures or any kind of uh, startup helps or the beneficiaries who we work closely in Mumbai, that was a kind of an eye opener for them as well. Coming I mean, from the background of MBA is a different sort of a feeling, but getting into it, I could learn from the entire book team. The way they have coordinated right from day one till day has talked to you all of you guys. So as I said, it's not just the end, it's just the start of us to come together and take it forward as a different organization coming in future. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Madhura, for those words. And uh, I think it's been uh, it's been the same for us. Uh, uh, definitely, uh, like uh, I think I, I haven't had the pleasure to work alongside uh, you a lot, uh, but definitely all the good things that I hear from my team have been amazing. And I think uh, pretty much it's been the same uh, that it doesn't feel uh, that we've known each other for such a small time but uh, i think there's there's a lot of work uh, that we have to do going forward and i think your support uh, with all of us has been invaluable and we'll continue to uh, trouble you in the future as well so thank you very much for your uh, words again uh, i would also uh, like to put irlana on the spot now uh, irlana uh, it's been i think uh, it's just been you and me who interacted over the past few months. Uh, I think about 20 weeks, if I'm not wrong. And uh, I think I, it, it, we were we wouldn't have really um, been where we are with uh, Picatra as a business if we didn't have you as a mentor uh, in, in the journey. I'm, I'm truly grateful for all the effort uh, that you've put in and uh, I think being the, uh, I think I, as I told you, I, I needed that stick uh, on my head every uh, every week to get work done. And you've been super helpful in doing that. I'm really patient uh, in, in that e entire effort. Uh, would you like to share something with us? Sure, thank you so much, Abhijit. Uh, first of all, um, thank you so much for your words of gratitude. Um, you know, uh, having been assigned to you as well on a personal level has been a great um, learning journey for me as well. You know, the best way to learn something is to teach it. And, um, you know, my, my purpose really in life is really to share as much of you know my experiences and my support and my knowledge to others so that they can grow and succeed and so when i see you know young folks uh, the next generation of leaders coming through the ranks such as yourself abhijit i you know i feel great <laughs> and i feel better uh, for for you know for my children that they have they will be living in a world that's better and so I'm so inspired today, you know, having seen what uh, Varuksh has accomplished in building uh, an important ecosystem, which is in the social entrepreneurship space. I believe that entrepreneurs of today and the next generation, such as yourselves, really need to focus on understanding what the role of a, a business should be, which is more than just creating profit. It's also about creating social change. And, and so when I see this, I am really, really encouraged. And I know Abhijit, you and I have had many conversations and I believe that you're such an, a talented uh, you know, leader and you are, you have such vision and you are such a great strategic thinking all the time, thinking ahead. Uh, and I, I believe truly that you will continue to accomplish great things with your team. And so I'm so, so uh, inspired by everything that you've done so far, you know, with Ikatra, I think Ikatra is going to take off. Uh, you are really with Ikatra solving a problem, a very, very specific social problem that has been created by COVID-19. And, you know, as you know, COVID will not be eradicated fully if, if 
if the entire world doesn't come, uh, doesn't level the playing field, you know, in respects to vaccines and, and so forth. And so I believe that that, you know, all of the problems that have been created by the pandemic will still remain. And so Ikatra is still going to be a really, very, very relevant product and very, very important in the future. And not only that, it's also a product that will help level the playing field uh, as well in, in other areas, such as, you know, education, as we've talked about, and, and as well in conflict zones, which will are problems, unfortunately, that will always uh, you know, remain in the world. And so I am very, really, really, truly inspired by that. And, uh, and Abhijit as well, you're such a visionary, you know, in the way that you think uh, you're able to really uh, zoom out. And, and I am so inspired by your leadership. And uh, for Baruch, you know, I, I actually didn't know what, what that word meant. <laughs> and so I'm so glad that I heard what it is, the banyan tree. And so uh, that is amazing. Um, I really truly believe that you will be making a huge impact in this world by creating this ecosystem. Entrepreneurship is so important for not only empowerment, economic empowerment, but it really creates enables people to take their futures into their hands. And, and this is what we need in this world because there's so much happening out there uh, where there are so many uh, people out there that remain marginalized. Unfortunately, we still live in this world. And so entrepreneurship really is a way of leveling the playing field in that way. And so I am a firm believer in entrepreneurship and, 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 and I really, really am even more of a firm uh, believer in social entrepreneurship. And I am just so inspired by everything that you've been doing. So congratulations to the team. I really, uh, you know, just my advice would be as a, you know, as someone who has work, worked in this space is just keep doing what you're doing, you know, um, really learn about your key strengths as a team and really leverage those strengths. You know, don't try too much to focus on, oh, what do we have to improve? You know, I think sometimes uh, we, we are too hard on ourselves sometimes. I think what we need to do really is really focus on your strengths, you know, keep building on that. And it sounds like that's what you've been doing. And it's amazing how resilient you have been as well. You know, look at failures as lessons learned and, and just move on, you know, and just, and just build on that. So, so congratulations to everybody. And, you know, I'm a resource here. If anybody needs anything, please reach out to me. Uh, I'll be happy to, to provide any kind of support if I can. Um, so congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Donna. I think uh, those words mean a lot uh, for all of us. Uh, and definitely your support has been invaluable. Uh, I, uh, like, I, I can't really thank you enough uh, for all the hard work you've really put. Uh, I think I, like all the good things that you said about me, I think there's, there's a lot of credit that goes to uh, the team that stands firmly behind me, uh, mentors like you who supported me and helped me learn uh, over the years uh, and really uh, helped me become the, the entrepreneur, the leader that I am today. So I, I definitely cannot take uh, the uh, credit as an individual, but uh, I think it's, it's a collective uh, effort from all of us. Uh, with that, uh, we have a very dear friend, uh, Amrita, who's also joined us after, I think, a bunch of technical challenges. And uh, I think uh, Amrita and I, uh, we met at one of these community building events in Mumbai. And I think we just hit it off uh, there. And we've always been talking about how could we collaborate and how could we do things. And I think uh, sometime uh, last year or I think 2019 is when we caught up uh, in Bombay. And there I think we just we just probably shook hands and said that, hey, let's, let's, take, let's do something together with Roach. And uh, she's been uh, a very active support uh, in, uh, in in multiple initiatives that we've done, especially with uh, Misfits and now with PMU uh, through Raha. Uh, uh, Amrita, uh, putting you out there on the spot and uh, thanking you for all your support. Hi, hi, Abhijit. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you so much. I think um, 
um, you know, it's uh, congratulations to you and everyone uh, in Riksh to, uh, to have really, you know, come to this very significant milestone of three years because um, I've known your journey for a while and I've seen, um, you know, I, it, it's, I think when I think of the word entrepreneurship, um, I definitely think of you, Abhijit, and your vision. Uh, so that also goes to say, you know, how much you live this word and how much uh, of an impact you're trying to create at the grassroots with this vision, which is so needed um, for the country. And um, I absolutely, I'm sorry I joined in late, but I must definitely, maybe these are things which have been covered, but I think one of the things I've always taken away with our interactions or with the work that I've seen of Brooks is the attitude with which you all look at failures. I mean, there's, you know, uh, there is no failure in your dictionary. There's nothing which is impossible in your dictionary, right? Uh, and y'all, y'all do it with a lot of humility, and y'all do it with a lot of conviction. And um, so, a lot of respect for all of you to do that, because um, you know, to to do the kind of work in, uh, you know, to create a social change that the magnitude of which you are constantly um, doing things. It's amazing. And yeah, I think one of the things I always wonder, and I've said this to you many times, I just love how you are full of ideas and the team is constantly churning off, like you're in the middle of something very, very hectic in terms of a project. And in the middle of that, I will hear this team is already working on some other things. So, you know, you guys are just um, uh, amazing with the way you all do the execution of your ideas. You just don't leave the ideas there you know so you'll have a long long um uh future ahead with i'm sure a lot of milestones uh waiting for you uh so i won't take much time but all the very best and you'll always have my support and uh, i think one of the things uh, which um you guys have done amazingly well uh is one of the efforts of misfits which i have seen last year working with you guys and um i i really wish you guys now a lot more global visibility with the kind of work y'all are doing because one is um and i think that is my wish for you on your third birthday that uh, y'all take this grassroots impact and connect it with even more global impact because uh, you all really know how to facilitate that. So wish you all the very best and you will always have my support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Amrita. I think uh, uh, it's, it's been uh, the, the entire team that has been supportive uh, of taking these uh, ideas to the next level. I think with uh, every time we hire someone and we uh, share them, like we have their onboarding, uh, we share our deck uh, with them the story, the uh, idea behind Brooks and give them uh, an experience of what they are getting into. But one thing, one statement that we've always held very close to our heart and uh, tell everyone is it's not about ideas, but about making those ideas happen. And uh, it, uh, I think that's that's been the cornerstone of building Brooks that uh, we, we don't talk, uh, we don't like, I think uh, I've learned that from my mistakes in my previous ventures as well is not just talking, but actually delivering and letting the world talk about it. And I think that's something that we've uh, successfully been able to deliver uh, for the past three years. And uh, I think one of the key things behind Brooks also has been, it has like as an entrepreneur, I'm always excited about new ideas, about doing new things, uh, different things. And uh, Previously, it has always kept me limited because I started with one idea and uh, whenever I wanted to do something else, it would be out of the scope of uh, that specific venture. But uh, I think with Ruksh, even personally as an entrepreneur, it has given me that wiggle room to really test and experiment uh, with different uh, ideas, play around with it, see if it works and if it does and if it uh, works into the larger picture of what we've imagined. It, uh, it definitely, uh, we can just fly with it. And that's why, and I've been, I think I've been blessed with such amazing team members out there uh, that they've taken these ideas and just flown uh, with it to the next level. 
Absolutely. I have seen it and I consistently see that. So very happy for all of you and wish you all the very best. Absolutely. And uh, okay, I see Rahul has also joined in. So, yes, so I just messaged you on the chat window. Uh, but before we have a chat with him, we have a very interesting person with us. Uh, Sonam, would you please introduce? The chat. Yes. So, hi everyone, Sushar is our beneficiary of the Globus ITI Institute. It was a business idea, but it hasn't been started yet. So, Sushar, tell your experience and tell your business idea. Sushar? Yes, I can hear you. Hello, I'm Sushar. And my experience with Vrook Shiko System was very good. वैसे पहले मुझे बिजनेस कैसे स्टार्टअप करना है बिजनेस प्लान कैसे बनाना है इसका कोई आइडिया नहीं था तो ये जब रुक्षी को सिस्टम हमारे कॉलेज में आए और उनसे इंटरेक्शन हुआ और उन्होंने स्टेप बाय स्टेप करके हर एक चीज हमको जब बताई तब हमको ये बिजनेस का सब कुछ आइडिया पता चला ये बिजनेस प्लान कैसे बनाते हैं और उसको एग्जीक्यूट कैसे करना है पूरा डाटा कैसे जमा करना है वगैरह वगैरह और रही मेरे बिजनेस प्लान की बात तो मेरा बिजनेस प्लान था वाटर टैंक क्लीनिंग सर्विसेज का जिसमें कुछ पांच से छह मशीन्स मशीन्स लगती है और उससे हम एक सिस्टमैटिक तरीके से वाटर टैंक क्लीनिंग करते हैं ये एक मॉडर्न एंड ऑप्टिमाइज्ड तरीका है टैंक क्लीनिंग करने का और इफेक्टिव भी है तो लोग माइक्रोब्स या फिर जो भी है कीटाणुओं को लेके बहुत कॉशियस रहते हैं अभी तो हमारे जो क्लीनिंग सर्विस सॉल्यूशन है ये पूरी तरह से क्लीन कर देता है उन सब चीजों को एकदम मॉडर्न इफेक्टिव तरीके से थैंक यू थैंक यू तुषार सो तुषार इज वन ऑफ द नेम्स अंडर दोस नंबर्स दैट सोनम शेयर्ड अंडर द पीएमयूआई योजना इज वन ऑफ दोस हंड्रेड entrepreneurs that came out as a result of uh, taking this entrepreneurship sessions and uh, i think tushar ne jitna bhi share kiya hamare sath mein he comes from uh, this town called uh, kamti uh, which is about 50 kilometers from nagpur city and uh, we went uh, i think nishant was the person who went there and took sessions uh, and uh, he, We've got some amazing entrepreneurs that came out of that institute, and uh, I think it's been even with the pandemic in place, uh, students like Tushar have been able to start, like think about actually building a business. Uh, students who never thought that they or never heard about the word entrepreneurship uh, got to know about uh, entrepreneurship, learned about it, and in a very short amount of time. Uh, they've started taking the next steps on their ideas. Some already uh, have their businesses in place, or I mean, good money for their families. And I think that's the attestation, and I think that was the core uh, idea behind uh, what we wanted to do with Rooks. Like we really build that ecosystem where entrepreneurs like him can come come up and uh, really explore all the possibilities uh, that they have. So on that note, I guess if Nishant is there, or I'm not sure if he dropped off, he is there a few minutes back. Uh, but okay, no worries. Uh, so that was a lot of insight from a lot of folks who've been involved with us. Uh, I would now like to call in the team to share some experiences. And uh, I think, uh, Viresh, why don't you start? Hey, hey. Uh, my experience with Vruksh has been really amazing in the last, uh, last quarter of uh, the last year. That, that was the time when we were actually kick-assing a lot of things on tech we have been building and we, we still are. We are uh, adding in uh, newer and newer products to our portfolio as well. But then the last quarter was, uh, was the one wherein we were actually working our asses off to get one of the products out. Um, 
one kudos uh, to brooks was that uh, we were able to be one of the top 25 products uh, recognized by un center of excellence for uh, un sdn which is a which is a center driven by the youth organization of un as one of the top 25 products built out for covid responses we also received various nominations awards even fundings and grants for uh, the ekatra product solving a real problem tangible one uh, and then coming out successful while we are at it absolutely i think uh, ekatra has become the star of the tech product and uh, we are on its way to actually build it as a spin off uh, in the process of taking it as a spin off company out of Brooksh and uh, which will now carve its own journey going forward. Uh, I, I would like to also now pass on to Rahul, who was one of the first people that joined with us with absolutely no idea what he was getting into and uh, has uh, taken off, uh, has driven the massive exercise of building misfits uh, pretty much single-handedly along with an amazing team uh, backing him up. So Rahul, up to you. Uh, hey, hello, hello everyone. I'm seeing very familiar faces like Amitabh Ji and Amrita as well. Great, great to see you guys over here and also the other team members too. And even Madhura is over here. Great, great. Hi, everyone. This I'm is... also here. Yeah, even, yeah, of course. Anita, <laughs> Sonam, Komal, Viresh, and Prasanjit, and of course, Abhijit. Um, Suraj is missing. Where is he? He's, he's in a no network zone right now. Oh, right, right, right. He told me about that. Yes, so. Yeah, so I was not even sure what I was getting into, as rightly said by Abhijit. This was like three years back, uh, September 2018. Uh, I was just looking to be in the startup space, as in what is it uh, like about. And fortunately, I was quite right that uh, not just professionally, but on, also on the personal level, I find it quite uh, beneficial for me because now i see i mean even today now i see people like uh, amitabh ji and madhura are my acquaintance and that is a positive thing for me i'm very thankful to abhijit suraj uh, at that time that you guys gave me that uh, blind opportunity i would say uh, so and uh, and also to viresh because he, even he was there and i hope we uh, do something, do a different project that that we guys are talking about. We'll definitely do it together, and that's it. That's it from my side. It's quite mixed feeling for me because it's a mixed experience for me altogether. Uh, yeah, thank you. I think uh, uh, Rahul has had the uh, most explosive growth within the organization uh, since we started and i think it was it was a blind uh, game for i think even for us here getting people in the early days to back you up uh, and getting the right kind of people uh, in your team uh, is is very important and i'm glad that we uh, share uh, not just a working relationship but i even as uh, friends uh, now for life, I believe, and uh, it's it's been amazing to see your growth and uh, be able to contribute uh, into that in whatever ways possible. So uh, next, would anyone now? I'm I'm going to let people volunteer to speak. Amrit, I have a suggestion if you may allow. Yes, please. I, uh, as Rahul rightly mentioned, we all were when in, in Feb 2021. So it forward from him. While I was having some discussions with Rasanjit or Suraj, the way we had our Pradhan Mantri Yuva trainings with the beneficiaries, 
why not we have the feedback from them? It's prior to our trainings, right? We having various kinds of mentors and to different teams, different outlets while we were having uh, in fact at both the places, right? And our right in our center in Bandra as well as in Dadar. They were not aware of how to start up a business, how to uh, enroll into some kind of process or maybe a development. They were even not aware how to fill up a GSE form or whatever it may be, WhatsApp business, Instagram, Facebook. We all are used to it. That was a new process for all the kinds of beneficiaries which comes from slums, especially from Bandra area, wherein we had our uh, second training. So as a part of our OS training, why not we have a sort of a feedback from them or maybe we could have some interactive sessions with them. How did they feel? What was their learnings from the training? What was their takeaway from the training? Because as I was interacting with some of the SSGs while we are working with uh, Dr. Megha, I understand they have learned a lot. And especially in the pandemic where you can't move out from your house, they have started exploring over WhatsApp or maybe Facebook to at least venture out on to start a business. So I think that's one of the key achievements of what you guys have put in your efforts for all the trainings which we have given them. So uh, we have trained around 150 of the beneficiaries, Dadar plus Bandra. So I would suggest we should have a feedback from them. Absolutely, uh, absolutely, Madhura. That's something that we've been doing uh, with our other beneficiaries. I think with the uh, Dadar and Kurla beneficiaries, we uh, are not at that point yet where we've made enough, uh, like or supported them enough. But we will definitely do that in due time. That's on the cards, and uh, we are going to publish. Like we've done that uh, with some of the beneficiaries who were with us last year. And uh, we will continue to do that uh, as part of the impact exercises uh, over the next few months. I believe, I think, uh, since we started doing work, the pandemic, uh, like uh, the second wave, has been quite a hindrance to pretty much everything uh, for a lot of people out there. And uh, we want to get back in the field and uh, ensure that all the entrepreneurs that we work with find feet uh, uh, in, the, in the world. and ensure that their dreams come to a reality. So we'll definitely do that exercise soon. Uh, so yes, going back to the uh, ball, anyone else wants to take up the mic? Okay, more than six. Okay, I'm I can see Anupam's face smiling out there. And I know there's there's something fishy happening on the WhatsApp group as well. So. Yeah, personal chat chalu. Please, Anupam putting you on the spot. So, uh, in two events, I'm just sharing my journey only. So, I want to share my journey with a poem through. Oh, wow. uh, all right. Uh, so, this poem is in Lokmitra Gautam Ji, in uh, Hindi. Mein hai. I hope you all in Hindi. So, the uh, title of the poem is, I will take a lot of Let me just also... या मैं अपने साथ लेकर जाऊंगा एक तजुर्बा जो सीखा नहीं जा सकता मैं अपने साथ लेकर जाऊंगा आदमी जितनी खाली जगह जिसकी भरपाई नहीं हो सकती मैं अपने साथ लेकर जाऊंगा अपनी आदम इच्छाएं जो इतनी ठोस नहीं थी कि उनकी प्रतिकृतियां गढ़ी जा सकती और इतनी नियमबद्ध नहीं कि कोई नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी उनकी नकल कर सकती मैं वो सब अपने साथ लेकर जाऊंगा जिससे खड़ी ढलान पर नंगी जड़ों वाला कोई पेड़ जी जाता है 45 वसंत तुम शोक मनाना मेरी जान क्योंकि मेरे जैसा फिर कोई दूसरा नहीं होगा 
दूसरा दूसरा ही होगा बस थैंक यू अनुपमा पब्लिश कर दो ये मेरी नहीं है ये मेरी नहीं है ये लोग मेरे को बोलते हैं अब बोलती भी बहुत अच्छा हो अब स्टार्ट कर दो अपने सेशंस लेना श्योर ये सोना मोदी आप बात कर ही रहे हो तो आप ही कंटिन्यू कर लो मैं क्या बोलूं ये मेरे लिए सबसे बड़ा क्वेश्चन है ठीक है मैं सोचती हूँ <laughs> शुभाजीत शुभाजीत सूरज आ, मेरे बदले ये लोग बोलेंगे ना शुभाजीत एंड सूरज यस सो क्या मैं मैं बोलूँ पहले हाँ हाँ बिल्कुल हेलो सूरज बोलो ओके सो मेरा जर्नी ग्रुप का स्टार्ट हुआ था फिफ्टीन दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन एंड फर्स्ट डे ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इंग्लिश हेलो थैंक यू थैंक यू अमिताभ इट वाज ग्रेट हैवी वंडरफुल आई आई एम सो glad to be part of this uh, uh, session today and i, I just uh, thank uh, and uh, wish all the best to the team to see you guys for the i have to drop out sorry for, for a personal family commitment now so uh, sorry for this no problem thank you very much yeah. thank you amitabh ji yeah. thank you bye see you guys amitabh ji thanks thanks thank you so yes suraj please go ahead and in english please uski ka to dar hai sir koshish karne walo ki haar nahi hoti we have suraj sir we also have suraj yes hi hi everyone sorry sorry i am in a situation which abhijit knows about so I mean, it's a very complex situation which I wouldn't like to explain, but then I'm missing it all. No problem. We have the recording. Yeah, I was, I was, I'll, I'll definitely gonna see it tonight. Definitely, buddy. Yes. Yeah, I'm missing you too. Thank you, Gomesh. <laughs> at least someone is. At least by. Anupam. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, Anupam. I thought it's Gomal. अनुपम का रिएक्शन देखो। सो हैज़ द ऑफिशियल मीटिंग एंडेड और यस प्रीटी मच वी आर जस्ट वी जस्ट शेयरिंग वी जस्ट शेयरिंग थॉट्स। सो सूरज मेश्राम वाज अबाउट टू शेयर अबाउट हिज एक्सपीरियंस। सूरज प्लीज गो आई okay so yes sir sure so i started my journey with the brooks uh, on 15 december 2020 and uh, the experience is uh, so amazing with the brooks and uh, lot of things i have learned with brooks <laughs> and uh, especially i miss uh, uh, pokin wali chai and uh, the page trip abhijit uh, sir no very well about the page trip the name and the night of the page trip also the name the name is just for say which name about the chai so yeah that's that's just an internal joke so dange karwayenge aap Anyways, so yeah, Suraj, do you want to share anything more? No, sir. That's it. Okay. So, Suraj, while you are there, and I'm not sure how long you are, but uh, please do share your experience. Suraj has been uh, there, like we we 
I, I never thought uh, we would be working together beyond the Swaj Bharat Fellowship, but uh, I think uh, it, it was in the cards for us. It was written in our destiny, I would say. Yes. It was written in our destiny to have this party tonight and, you know, so many people joining us. Absolutely. I mean, this is, this is, this is a great feeling, like starting something from scratch and, you know, and then building a team and today doing everything uh, together. It's a fantastic feeling. I mean, despite, despite all the odd challenges that we have faced, I mean, we have, you know, we have overcome every, everything and then, uh, Right now, everyone is giving their best. We are coming up with new initiative. We are talking about so many new ideas. That is the best part about Vruksh. I mean, we aren't working like a traditional not-for-profit or a traditional company. I mean, we have given so much, like all of us, all of us have so much of independence at an individual level that it makes our journey beautiful. I mean, I am sure all of us must be feeling the same. So talking about my experience, so it was, you know, we st- I and Abhijit, uh, I don't know how many of you know, when we, like, we were in the same batch, but we were sitting next to each other, each other on the first day. That was our first interaction. Absolutely. And we became good friends because uh, since uh, Abhijit was working in Mumbai, he was, you know, sharing his experience. And then, and if, and in any of you, if, if you have worked in Mumbai, you know, and if you start talking about your experience now, you'll connect at a lot of levels. Be it uh, traveling in train, be it, you know, living, I mean, the whole experience of living in Mumbai. So you connect with each other. That is how we get, we got connected. And the second part was, uh, like, you know, when, when we are in a college, uh, there is a, you, some of you make a group. So Abhijit, I and some of us, you know, in our Swaj Bharat mission, we made a group. So we were all posted in different uh, different states. Like I was in Uttar Pradesh, Abhijit was in uh, Maharashtra, our another friend was in Arunachal Pradesh, another friend in Madhya Pradesh. So we all became a, became a very good group. So we also, in those three days, we also had night outs and all of that. Uh, and the bond grew stronger and stronger uh, during our Swaj Bharat journey. We used to share selfies uh, during that period. So this was, this was, this was the first year of our friendship. And then uh, officially, when we started in June, we had so many discussion around so many ideas. Like this is what we want to do. We made so many reports together. And, and you know, the best part is we, will, we were working virtually. I mean, uh, he was working from there. And, and we also had a couple of trips to Delhi for, you know, some of our projects. So it was, it was, it was, it was a great journey throughout uh, the first year was difficult. Second year we picked up and now we are confident about what we are doing. Not just confident about what we are doing, but also confident about the new things that we are entering into. So we now, we are now capable and confident to, you know, uh, go out and do multiple things. I mean, uh, uh, the management, like uh, all the, all the people on the board, they know that, uh, you know, we are pitching multiple ideas. I mean, not all of you might know this, but we are trying to pitch for multiple ideas, uh, work with government at different levels. So that is how we are proceeding. And I hope, I hope uh, few things turn out uh, in a very positive way so that, you know, we go, we grow stronger and stronger. And one, one appreciation, uh, one appreciation thing for my, uh, for my team member, Komal, okay. I mean, there is a lot of things that we do financially. I mean, uh, when, when I say a lot of things, we have a lot of documents to maintain. I mean, not just for Komal, in fact. I mean, this is for our entire team. Even if I talk about uh, Sonam and Prasenjit, the operations team, Abhijit overall, you know, leading the entire thing of uh, which report to make, monthly reports, uh, particular session reports. The documentation has been too much for us. I mean, that is how things have been. But it is, but it is, you know, overall, overall, we have done well. I mean, if you, if any of us, any of our board members, or let's say, if you talk about uh, anyone else, uh, any external uh, stakeholder, ask, ask us about our, uh, what we have done in the past. Uh, we have documented everything at an extensive level. So this is an appreciation. Uh, I, I'm, I just want to appreciate the entire team for what they have done. 
Thank you, sir. So it has been an amazing experience. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the entire team, you know, for being there, for working uh, so closely virtually. It's not easy for all of us. I mean, you not know, sometimes we feel demotivated. Sometimes there there are a lot of things to do, but we all have uh, done it very, you know, we have done it in a very good way. And let's hope that uh, we continue doing in uh, in in similar way. And I, and I also hope that you know all the interns who are. Uh, joining us working with us they they have a very good experience they learn a lot and you know even we get to learn something from our interns i mean they come up with new things all of that uh, keeps on happening so it's a it's a process for us the process that we don't want to miss out on i mean if if there is a intern joining if there is someone who has new idea we would appreciate if they talk to us about it and you know how we can work on it so thank you to the entire team and you know I, i the last thing i would say is i'm proud of the entire team and i'm proud of froksh and what we have achieved till now and there is uh, you know there is a long way to go now so best of luck everyone and let's hope for the best absolutely absolutely i think uh, you uh, having having suraj there back me up in everything we've been doing for the past three years Uh, i think it has been wonderful and i think the the swatch bharat journey was a bond for all of us and i think even prasenjit who uh, has now become a integral and crucial part of brooks family uh, i think uh, those days really helped us bond uh, and create friendships to a level where i think uh, years of friendships fail uh, just coming together with a common cause and trying to uh help people in the remotest parts of the country like uh, uh suraj left a fancy job at ebay to join this fellowship to work in a village in up and build toilets prasenjit did the same left a cushy job took a massive uh, risk and joined this uh, swachh bharat fellowship and i think even for me it was uh, uh, believe me when i say that i actually built like a swot uh, analysis for uh, like my from my previous company i was working for a investor then and they had asked me to stay on and i built a swot and this is of why i should take this random decision to get into the development sector which uh, i think uh, and i think that's the craziness where three of us or four of us including charudat we connected and i think that was a phenomenal uh bonding aspect and at that point i think i let uh, rasinjit yeah i think i think it's time you uh stay quiet for a while <laughs> <laughs> so incidentally uh, i let you something else uh, so while suraj and abhijit so abhijit suraj and i we are all from the same batch of the tata trust program batch 5 24 april 2017 uh what transpired is that during the course of our uh, fellowship abhijit and i we were stationed in maharashtra over the course of our interactions with uh, koshik we were working on a startup idea called neem wash uh yeah so and then we we gradually realized that abhijit has this uh, fire in him to start a company but he is not sure what to start but the objective was definitely definitely to uh, to help the ground uh, entrepreneurs you know people people who want to start something but they are in a tier 3 or tier 4 city cities like we were posted as part of our fellowship where uh, there is a dearth of information access to uh, i would say the right resources which is very easily available in a tier 1 a, met, a metropolitan city and i think uh, vruksh has uh, stemmed from that the genesis of vruksh has been one which is very good uh, you can write uh, papers on it uh, and and i think uh, to move on from that from genesis uh, the single most i would say the backbone of brookshes has been our uh, our immense uh, pool of talented people with which we have 
we have a bunch of people who are motivated always cheerful uh, like anupam and uh, Always. I completely second that uh, about Anubam. I mean, she's the most enthusiastic person in the entire team. We should have her face as our brand image, you know. Yes. <laughs> she's yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think uh, it is very, it's very essential for a nimble organization like us to have a clearly motivated individuals, and that's something which we want to uh, be very sure of. as we move forward from our as we move into our fourth year and so on it's imperative for us to hire uh, the right resource only and that's something which i have been voicing and have been discussions within the uh, entire team you know uh, a lot of us we shoulder multiple responsibilities uh, i came on board for operations i look also at hr so that's something which i never wanted to do because i don't really like hr to be very honest Uh, but that's something which we are doing. What I mean is that each integral team member of Brooks has has been wearing multiple hats, whether they know it or not, whether they get recognized it for uh, recognized for it or not. But they have been doing it diligently and they have been excelling at it. And this is something which has been uh, ingrained not only as a culture, but I think it's a driving force for all of us. uh i think i'll stop here and uh, there is one more thing which i would like to mention i mean not not everyone would know this so during uh, during this whole period in the last 2 and 3 years abhijit also got opportunities to work with you know different organizations i mean this was when we were working for a project and then he got a uh, you know a opportunity from there that you leave your thing and you know join us but then he never had the idea of you know the craziness which he was talking about i am referring to that like despite having I, i mean those were the difficult days it wasn't the smooth period those were the difficult days when uh, you know you are getting an external opportunity when you are already uh, trying to build something so that but but he never took it up like the craziness always stayed yeah i think those those days have been testing my patience a lot i think that was 2019 was financially very bad for us uh, and at the same time i was getting like pretty much every other month i was getting an offer at a leadership level uh, but i think i all i wanted to do was like just try it out like i think giving it all uh, mattered at that point in time and uh, i even lost about 6 months to illness that was a terrible terrible time i think not a lot of things happened then but i think with after november december 2019 when we finally got pmu a project and uh, a lot of team got in together i think uh, uh, it really lifted my spirits up i i remember that uh, uh, so when i had john like uh, i think i had dengue i had come back from after a week over a week in the hospital and two days later uh, we finally uh, got a nod from the ministry that you've been awarded the project and we were like the we are the youngest organization to get that uh, at uh, like partnering with a ministry uh, national ministry and uh, getting a project uh, for a year and half old organization where everyone else was 10 times more experience than us was huge and uh, i think uh, uh, that changed paths for us uh, and i i also owe it to sachin at uh, at a lot of levels where he persisted enough for me to take that project because i was having second thoughts and uh, was planning to drop that project off because quite frankly we did not like i came out of a very bad uh, uh health phase then uh, we did not have enough team or bandwidth to even do that and i was really scared about uh, uh if we were going to execute that thing ever and i think i i been proven wrong uh, over the next few months and now that we see uh, project has such beautiful uh, 
outputs for all of us. So I think uh, uh, that's been amazing for everyone involved. So uh, uh, Irlana, I hope I'm not uh, holding you off from anything. Hi, Abhijit. No, I'm still here. I'm sorry. I was just in the middle of chatting, actually. I was going to chat to the group. Uh, but since you have me on mic, I just wanted to say, uh, you know, thank you for sharing all these great stories. I was actually in the middle of, you know, putting a chat. But while since I'm here by voice, I just wanted to say that, you know, all these stories of challenges and triumphs, uh, what I'm most impressed about is, um, you know, how resilient you've all been. Right. And so this is really a true testament of resilience. And this is what, you know, will 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 actually keep you going, you know, in the future as you as you grow and and you move forward in um, in, in your journey, because I think, you know, these challenges that you're you're that you've actually experienced in the past have informed you of many important lessons. And I think as you move forward, you know, these other challenges will come along. But what I'm hearing is that you have this great team, you know, full of uh, insights and, and, and energy, and it seems like nothing will stop you. And so, you know, hold on to that resilience, you know, and, and, and your ability to bounce back is just amazing. So I'm so inspired by that. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, we just, uh, I think uh, we'll close in some time. Uh, we've got a couple of people who still haven't shared. So I'll let Subhajit, Kovardhan, Komal uh, step up and uh, share if you have any thoughts and then we can close. Subhajit. Sorry, I just missed the connection. Yeah, I hope I'm audible. Yes, you are. Uh, yeah, so first of all, I would say kudos to the whole team for this three years of Brooks. I mean, I was just, uh, it's been three months since I've joined Brooks, but it always seems an amazing experience. I mean, uh, since the point, time I, I joined in, I was really hunting, I would say hunting for a good organization to work with. And then uh, Brooks happened. Uh, it was Abhijit sir who took our interview and I would say uh, the point I got that uh, uh, offer letter, I was really, really happy. And then this three months spent with Brooks, I would definitely say that uh, everything that I've done, the different opportunities and the works I have got, um, it was incredible. I mean, Sonam, Prashanjit, so everyone just helped me desperately. I would say Surat, sir, which is where everyone helped me in every point whenever I needed help. And so, uh, it's it's really an amazing experience for me. That's it. Thank you. Govardhan, do you have anything to share? So, uh, sir. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, so, uh, Rukshi is uh, such an amazing startup. Uh, I love to work here. So, 